everyone welcome back to my channel today I did a look um, using all the products in my October 2017 boxycharm um, so a lot of this was not actually no eye products at all um, so the eyes I did a glittery purple just more things that I was inspired by the theme called spellbound um, so when I think of like spells for whatever reason I think of like purples and blues um, more of along those colors so I did a purple glittery eye and then of course just use um, pretty much everything in my box <laughs> okay she's done uh-huh mm -hmm, mm. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna continue with this and just leave all that in there all that shenanigans um so I'm actually really happy with the box. Um, a lot of great stuff, although there wasn't any eye stuff. Um, so I am really, really happy with it. So again, this look is using the products and inspired by the theme as well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, and even if you're not using the products itself, I am doing still an eye look that can be used anywhere. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, spread some love, and let me know that you're watching. Hey everyone, so we are going in with this transition shade. Um, it is a lighter pink from the Morphe 35B palette. Um, so here's the palette that I'm showing. So we're just going in with a pinky shade. Um, I decided that was a little too pink for me so I went with the lightest purple just so you know we are going to be mostly working with the purples from this palette um, so there are about four purple shades um, and we're just building that up so the lightest shade was uh, part of the transition shade then we're going in with a slightly darker purple in the crease um, and then blending it with a big fluffy brush. So we're just gonna slowly do the transitions down from the lightest purple to the most darkest purple and then working that um, into the crease and onto the lid. Um, and then of course going back on, packing it, blending it out, packing it, blending it out um, to just create a more blended look and to ensure that everything is all blended. Um, so using the MAC Pro Concealer, I am going to start this, um, half cut crease so packing that down and you notice before that I did look up that's gonna ensure um, where you should uh, do your cut crease I will probably be doing a how to cut crease um, probably in the new year um, very busy during the holidays so I'm just making sure that the lines are all right and I decided that I was just gonna go in with the glitter so I'm using this glitter uh, it's bits you can find this at Sally's it's a fairly cheap uh, glitter glue and then using this regular glitter so this glitter I bought packs at Walmart um, you shouldn't really be using glitter on the eye they always warn that if a glitter gets in your eye you can go blind um, I've never had a problem for the most part people never had a problem it seems very uh, rare case and almost like freak accidents type of things um, so I just bought that from Walmart and it's it's fairly ch cheap uh, rather than buying uh, face and body glitter because technically they don't sell uh, eye glitter and then on the inner corner I just use the darkest purple um, and I'm just cleaning everything up with a makeup wipe because there is always a lot of glitter fallout um, and then just sharpening that line I am using the NYX uh, vinyl liquid liner uh, this is literally the best uh, liner that I've ever had the pleasure of using the brush is super super thin which helps you be really uh, helps for you to be really precise um, but unfortunately I don't think it creates the uh, thickness and it takes a really long time to create like a thick liner but I love it so much because again it's really precise so you can really cut a cut a bitch up um, with liner and then I'm just going back in and just making sure my crease is good um, so I end up putting false eyelashes and I'm using this elf um, primer 
and just using that all, uh, all around my face. The one I specifically used was for brightening, uh, which is really great. It's really great uh, to brighten the skin, obviously. So I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. Um, to me, this is obviously more foundation, but I think they like to add the concealer part of it just to um, emphasize that it really does conceal a lot. Um, and just putting that with the big... Uh, buffer brush that is what it's called an elf buffer brush and buffing that into the skin um, and then after doing the foundation of course we're gonna highlight some areas so I am going to use this Maybelline um, age rewind this is technically a foundation they actually sell the concealer but to me all the same thing and a beauty blender of course So once I'm done flirting with my fiance, we are going to use a beauty blender to blend that out. Um, and I love a beauty blender. Always wet your beauty blender so it's moist. It's going to help it really blend out. Um, and I'm setting that with the shade and light, the Kat Von D shade and light. I usually use the middle. As you can see, it's all panned out. And I like to use a beauty blender for that as well. Um, and then using the middle shade again, and I'm going to just show it here, the middle shade with a little bit of the darker shade. And I like to contour with that since I'm a darker um, tanner skin tone. Um, and then using this very small brush to help really define that contour, um, a quick contour on the nose. Um, and then I like to use the Studio uh, Makeup Luminous um, Loose Blush that I received in last uh, month's BoxyCharm. I really fell, fell in love with this uh, blush and it's absolutely gorgeous and I think it works perfect for my skin tone. I'm using the uh, Becca, the one from this month's, uh, the Presco Pop. It is as gorgeous as everyone makes it seem. It's totally worth it um, and I guess this is why it's a staple. So I'm going in with the Maybelline, the Rock News, and using that white to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Um, and then buffing out uh, the bottom lash line with some purple on a fluffy blending brush. Um, and then moving on, going to use obviously mascara just to darken the bottom lash line um, so it matches with the dark lashes up at top. And I here I'm using the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Carbon Black, which is another big staple. Here I'm using the NYX um, Jumbo Pencil. This one is in Purple Velvet. And this I'm using the Jean Bleu uh, Lip Liner that I received in this uh, month's box. Um, and this is really great. It's faux cheap. Um, so nothing beats a great quality faux cheap lip liner so I'm lining the my lips and then also filling it in doing that helps um, lips last longer when you drink at least there's still some color on your lip left over and I'm using the Tarte um, matted lipstick it's Tarte's matted lipstick um, and that was also on the tip this box so this is the final look that I did very inspired by uh, spells and I don't know I imagine purple stuff coming out of spells a wand bye <laughs>